everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Just Enough items, also known as the JEI mod, in Minecraft 1.18.1. This mod is a must-have, in my opinion, for Minecraft 1.18.1, and that's because it is a mod that allows you to quickly and easily see all of the different things in Minecraft. This includes things like modded items. For example, if you add in a furniture mod, you don't know how to craft that furniture, at least I don't, but Just Enough Items does and allows you to search for those modded items, click on them, and see how to craft them very quickly and very easily. Because of this, Just Enough Items is a good mod by itself, but it's a must-have mod if you have other mods installed alongside of it. First and foremost, though, we do have a mention from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We actually own just Apex so much that we all start our own server. Play at our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your own Minecraft server, check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless, so, let's go ahead and get just enough items in Minecraft 1.18.1. First things first, we need to go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our text tutorial for how to get just enough items. It goes through everything here. However, once you're here, you want to scroll down and click on this Download Just Enough Items button. When you click on that, it will take you to the official Just Enough Items download page, where we want to come over here to the right-hand side and scroll down until we find Minecraft 1.18. Right there it is. Under that we have JEI 1.18.1 where we can click on the orange download button to the right of it. Now Just Enough Items is going to start downloading for Minecraft 1.18.1 right like so. Now depending on your browser you may need to keep or save this file. I don't but you may need to click keep in the bottom left of Google Chrome. It's 100% safe if you need to do that. On Mozilla Firefox you may need to save Just Enough Items in the center of your screen and it's 100% safe to do that as well. Uh, this has been downloaded 140 almost 150 million times so crazy. Nevertheless we can now move on to get Forge. Forge is required for Just Enough Items because Forge is the mod loader that Just Enough Items uses to run in Minecraft 1.18.1. So if you want to go to the third link down below, that's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide on how to get Forge. We're going to go over the basics in this video, but if you do have any issues, go through this more in-depth guide. Once you hear those, scroll down and click on the green Download Forge button. That will take you to Forge's official website. Where we want to make sure Minecraft 1.18.1 is selected, we can see it is right there. However, if it's not for you, come over here to the left-hand side and select it. Once you've got it selected, come under Download Latest and click on Installer, and as soon as you click on installer, take your hands off of your mouse, off your keyboard. Just, just wait a second. Wait about 10 seconds on this page. Your ad right here might be different, but overall, wait about 10 seconds on this page. And then, in the top right, a red skip button will appear. The only thing that you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. So once you click on that red skip button, in the bottom left of Google Chrome, Forge will download. And as long as it says Forge in the title, you are safe to click Keep. On Mozilla Firefox, you may need to save it in the center of your screen, but again, as long as Forge is in the title, you are 100% safe to do so. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we need to get these files that we downloaded, Forge and Just Enough Items, to our desktop. To do that, click the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, I mean the bottom left of your screen, or if you're on Windows 11, it's going to be in the center of your screen, and this tutorial is fully Windows 11 compatible. Click on that little Windows icon, and then go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. Click on that, and then in here you will find just enough items and forge. Drag these to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, I do want to mention if these icons look different, right? They don't look like mine. That's okay. Just keep watching. We're going to show you how to fix that. But first, let's see if we can open up forge. To do this, go ahead and right click on it. Click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK, right? Now, if you don't have Java, that's okay. I'm going to show you how to fix that here in a second. Just wait. However, if you do have Java and you couldn't open this, you can fix it the same way as if you don't have Java. That's because you need Java 17. So whether you couldn't open this at all because you didn't have Java or whether you had Java and you still couldn't open up Forge, what do you do to fix it? Well, you download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required, required for Minecraft 1.18 and most people do not have it. Specifically, it's required for Minecraft 1.18 Forge, Minecraft 1.18 servers, anything like that outside of vanilla Minecraft, you need to download Java 17. And luckily in the description down below, we have an in-depth guide to how to download and install Java. On top of that, if your icons look weird or something like that and they don't look like mine, this will usually fix it. In some cases though, you may need to run the jar fix and this is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java right like so, right? So it's going to take all those jar files and make them work with Java appropriately. But most likely, if you can't open up Forge, you're having issues. Not most likely, 100%. If you can't open up Forge, you're having issues with Forge, you need to download and install Java 17 and run the jar fix. Nevertheless, though, once you've done that, we can finally right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, click OK, and it will open up the mod system installer. Once you're in here, make sure Install Client is selected and click OK. Forge will then download, install, and set up for Minecraft 1.18.1. The only reason it would fail at this point 
is if you've not played Minecraft 1.18.1 yet, go do that with no mods or anything, just vanilla Minecraft 1.18.1, come back, and you'll get this message once you've installed it. Successfully installed Client Profile Forge. Awesome. Go ahead and click OK. It'll close out a Forge there, and you can actually delete Forge from your desktop. You don't need it anymore. Now it's installed just enough items. To do this, we need to open up the Minecraft Launcher, or right like so, and in the Minecraft Launcher, we want to go ahead and make sure the Forge Profile or installation is selected. Now, as you can see, once the Minecraft Launcher is open for me, it is automatically selected, and it probably is for you as well. Just look next to the play button and make sure it says Forge, and then 1.18.1. If it does, click play. There'll be a little pop-up where you click play again, and then Minecraft will open. However, for some of you, you won't have this. First, see if you can select it by clicking this arrow. If it's in here, follow that process. Click on Forge click play, right? No big deal. But in the cases that you don't have Forge here, or it doesn't say 1.18.1 under it, go ahead and click on installations at the top. Then you want to make sure this modded button on the right hand side is checked. As you can see, I unchecked it, Forge disappeared, right? It's no longer there. We click on modded again, it reappears, and we can select it right like so. However, in some cases, you still won't have Forge, or Forge just will not be for 1.18.1. To fix that, go ahead and click on the new installations button here, and then you can name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com, because that's our 1.18.1 grief protected survival and Skyblock server. It's an absolutely incredible server. We've so much work, so much time, so much love into it. So go play on it. Play on breakdowncraft.com. You will absolutely love it. It's set up for you to play with your friends as well. So go play on it. Nevertheless, once you've done that, once you've entered your name, go ahead and click the version drop down box. And we want to select release 1.18.1 Forge. Mine's at the top. You may need to scroll down a ways to find yours. Once you've got that selected, come under resolution. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it because I want you to be able to see in game. So I set it to 1080p. Nevertheless, go ahead and click create now. And we have play.breakdowncraft.com at the bottom of our installations tab. As you can see, though, most importantly, it says 1.18.1-4200, so we can hover over that and click the green play button. This is the pop-up I was talking about. Go ahead and say you understand the risk and click that green play button again. Now, Minecraft 1.18.1 will open up with Forge and the hard part is over. Now, it's super simple and super easy to install just enough items. So, let's go ahead and do a quick jump cut to the Minecraft main menu, which, by the way, will take longer than normal to get to. When you're playing modded Minecraft, it takes a significant amount of time longer to get to the Minecraft main menu than when you aren't playing modded Minecraft. As you can see, it took forever for that to start opening up. Anyway, I'll see you on the main menu to install just enough items. As you can see, we're now in the Minecraft main menu with Forge installed right up here at the top. Now all we need to do is go under the mods tab here, click on that, and then we want to click on open mods folder in the bottom left. Once we clicked on open mods folder, well, the mods folder opens. That was a little fast, so let's do it one more time. From the Minecraft main menu, click on mods, and then click on open mods folder in the bottom left. Then take just enough items and drag and drop it into the mods folder right like so. Once just enough items is in the mods folder, simply close out of it and it'll be not in Minecraft because we need to reset start Minecraft. So to do that, go ahead and click done, click quit game. And then we want to make sure when we restart Minecraft here from the Minecraft launcher that we are doing it with Forge selected, right? We want to make sure that Forge installation is selected. So once we get the Minecraft launcher open, it's pretty simple to do that. There's going to either be the one that was there automatically, this one right here, or the one you created. Click play. You might have to click play again. If you do, click on it. I didn't. And now it's going to open up Minecraft 1.18.1 with just enough items installed. It's that simple and easy to get this truly incredible mod. Now, most likely you're adding just enough items with other mods and just add that right there in with the JEI mod in the mods folder, right? Other mods can be installed by installing them right in the mods folder by simply dragging and dropping. Not a huge deal, but very, very quick and easy to do so. Nevertheless, though, let's go ahead and jump right on in to the Minecraft main menu just to show you that this is, in fact, working, right? So once we're here, let's go ahead and wait for it. There we go. Jump cut got us in a little faster. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on mods, and there's just enough items. Now, we can jump into the best Minecraft server in the multiverse and just show you that this is, in fact, working in-game. So if we go ahead and hit E, there it is. Look at all of this awesome stuff. We can search up blocks, for example, if we wanted to search up a fence, right, like so, we can see how to craft this fence. How do we get birch planks? That's how. How do we get these? Well, if you click on something, it doesn't take you anywhere. That means you mine it, or find it, or gather it, right? Nevertheless, there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, and that is how you can download and install items, and be sure to come play with us on playdarbreakdowncraft.com or on the Skyblock server right now. I've got 30 FOV on, which is amazing for screenshots, by the way. Nevertheless, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and come play with us on playdarbreakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Anyway, my name is Nick. This is The Breakdown. Thank you so much for watching, and I am out. Peace.